Venice is rich, rich in history, rich in visual beauty, rich in all these fields. Every era in Venice has some great treasure to offer. It's truly one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. Venice inspired me a lot, actually, because of the atmosphere of the city is very special than any other city, I think. The fact that you can ride on a gondola and look around the city is very romantic. And also the flow of the water is so live. And I started to think about Venice, and I thought, started to think about what was my experience here. What, and I became so overwhelmed by this incredible idea of the sea and the air where the, where the environment is so unique and so ever-changing and so very beautiful and spontaneous. And the thing that draws people to Venice is uh, just its sense of, of splendor because it is so incredibly variegated. Uh, in so many different ways. Infinity Jest è un progetto che parte da lontano perché è un progetto che parte 35 anni fa, anche se ancora non lo sapevamo, quando il Pratt Institute comunque, che è una, un grosso istituto di formazione newyorkese e americano, arriva e sbarca a Venezia, insomma, e a Venezia, su quella che è la Vue d'Optique più bella del mondo, tra le Zattere e la Giudecca, e comincia i corsi estivi per i suoi studenti. Ed è proprio in quel momento che eh, Monique Rollins e A1 si incontrano e poi dopo nel tempo incontreranno anche Michael Brand. E tre artisti questi che appunto si sono formati nelle, sulle, sulle sponde veneziane e che il Prat decide in qualche modo di, di intercettare perché le loro carriere vanno avanti, perché Michael Brennan continua a lavorare qui e perché Venezia è una piattaforma internazionale la più importante che c'è nel mondo e oggi, oggi inteso come tre maggio del 2019 siamo alle soglie dell'inaugurazione della 58esima Biennale di Venezia. Siamo a Sant'Elena, ospite della, della Società di Ante Alighieri che ha il suo spazio espositivo a pochi metri dai padiglioni dei giardini, quindi nel grembo della cultura e dell'arte internazionale. Allora a quel punto, quando queste cose sono state, come dire, in qualche modo si sono allacciate e il mio intervento curatoriale di curatrice che ha base a Venezia, anche se poi opero in varie parti, d'Italia, d'Europa o del mondo quando, quando sono molto fortunata e parte dal pensare che questo sia stato comunque un gesto infinito e allora Infinite Gest poteva essere fatto soltanto a Venezia probabilmente con un ritorno che poi in qualche modo prevede un'altra tappa fondamentale che è quella di New York. The exhibition in Venice with um, the work of Monique and Michael and Han the space at um, St. Elena is really beautiful and the works of these three artists is wonderful. And um, then we'll also have events in New York. Because this is our 35th anniversary of the program, we've been going since 1984. I sent five paintings. Um, they're smaller. I, I, I tend to work small. They're all made with lapis and uh, different shades of lapis. They kind of relate to my experience of sort of the exchange of light between the sea and the sky. While I was there, one of my favorite things to do was just to um, ride on the Vaporetto in the back of the water taxi, pretend I was like George Clooney or something, pretend it was my yacht, and just go around and around and around and um, just watch how much um, the color and light change, um, the transitions from minute to minute. It's really very spectacular and, and that in particular was what I was trying to internalize and you know obviously I work monochromatically I tend to work in one color that can be kind of monotonous so the challenge for me is to find some kind of life or vitality through that process and I think the artistic challenge that excites me is you know what what can I find between like two coats of paint um, namely a dark coat the blue on top and, and the white underneath I was trying to kind of almost bring that weather condition 
and reanimate it in the paint anew for myself to kind of re-experience that kind of exchange of light, space, color, atmospherics. Um. The two themes of my work would be the energy of life and the origin of life. I use lines and my gesture to create endless movement in my painting. I'm trying to create the atmosphere of liveness with the lines and colors. I use many layers of colors, uh, lines in my painting because I want to make a, a large movement from side to side and up and down. I always work on the subject of life because it doesn't have a form. It can be expressed and explained. I was thrilled to back in Venice again because I had a wonderful time uh, while I was in Venice. So Infinite Jest is a very exciting exhibition. Now we have our opportunity to put our artwork up on the wall and see what kind of dialogue we make, what kind of conversation is there going to be. So the pleasure I have in these particular artworks that you see, these artworks are larger collage paintings, acrylic and paper on canvas. And what's very exciting about these artworks is that also in the show are some smaller artworks that I created when I was a student in 2004 and then again in 2007 in Pratt and Venice. When I was pulling out the artwork for this show that I had a chance to see where I began and now I see where I am now and it's I mean over 10 years over 15 years later so it's very exciting to see that evolution in the artwork and um, this is the first time in an exhibition uh, situation that I, I have been able to put these art two artworks together so it's it's really a great satisfaction for me as an artist it is also during the time of the Venice Biennale which happens to be the most important and most relevant platform for contemporary art. We are really very happy to have you because we, we believe in uh, having new things, having meetings, and on the occasion of the art night, we will also have a lot of Italian students coming over and meeting everybody. So I thank you for choosing the Dante Lighieri for your exhibition, for your exhibition and uh, enjoy. Thank you so much. So the Pratt & Venice program began in 1984. We had uh, three courses taught there, drawing, painting, and art history. Venice is so important in printmaking. And we then started doing some printmaking within the drawing class. We have had some wonderful collaborators there. This show is just one of many things that are going to happen in conjunction with the 35th anniversary. We want to celebrate the history of the program and uh, the work of the participants and um, former faculty as well. One thing that I really like about the program is that all the faculty that have participated over the years have contributed to kind of rounding out the program in their own particular way. Their legacy through their contribution kind of continues on and on. Well, I would really like to see the program continue for another 35 years, if not longer. The common thread that binds us has been that our time in Venice was so very special. It was a moment that had major impact on our creative research and on our artistic trajectories. Of course, it was very positive for us, but it was for every other alumni of the program as well. So it's an honor to be here celebrating such a special 35th anniversary and also to be um, able to put all our artworks up together, although very different. They have a wonderful dialogue about Venice, about, about creating artwork, about all of our passions. It's, a, it's a really a very exciting time. I'm happy to be invited by Pratt Institute and especially Pratt in Venice program. I had a wonderful time uh, while I was in that program. It's been more than 10 years and I'm still thinking about the time that I was in that program. The program is structured as to be uh, an integrated learning environment incorporating fine art practice, uh, art history, and cutting edge scientific conservation. And I would say that uh, 
every participant of the program over the past 35 years, if asked to describe uh, Pratt and Venice with a single adjective, would say uh, intense. So we maximize our time in La Serenissima and fill it with opportunities to come to a new understanding about one's artistic practice and the nature of art and architecture in this very special place.